Welcome to the second video of chapter 6, which is use proportions to solve geometry problems. So in today's video, you're going to be given figures and given proportions, and you're going to use those figures to fill in the proportions. You're also going to be writing your own proportions and solving them. So let's jump right to example number 1. It says in the figure below, AF over FE equals FC over ED. Find the length of ED. So hopefully you remember from yesterday's video that this is called a proportion. So I have two ratios that are set equal. I have AF over FE, that's one ratio, and then I have FC over ED, that's a second ratio. All I have to do now is fill this in. Now AF from our figure is 4, FE from our figure is 6, FC is 22, and then ED is X. And now I just use the cross products property to solve. 4 multiplied by X is going to give me 4X. 6 multiplied by 22 is 132. Now dividing both sides by 4, I get x equals 33. So that's the first part of tomorrow's classwork that you're going to be doing. I'm going to give you the proportion and you're going to have to set it up. So that's not too bad. Let's move on to the next definition. So a scale drawing is a drawing that is the same shape as the object it represents. The scale is the ratio that describes how the dimensions of the drawing are related to the dimensions of the object. Okay, so you're going to notice we have two examples of, of scale drawings, and these would be maps. So maps represent the real-life um, region that you're looking at. The scale would be right here. So this is telling me one inch on the map represents 250 miles in real life. Second map, one inch on the map, is 20 miles in real life. So if I measure and I find that the distance between two cities is three inches on the second map, that tells me that those two cities are about 60 miles apart, three times 20. So these are scale drawings. Um, you're going to be using this to set up proportions. So this right here is going to be one of your ratios. So let's look at an, an example on the next page. Okay, so it says the scale in the drawing below is 1 inch to 2,800 inches. How tall is the Eiffel Tower in inches? So this right here is telling me 1 inch on the scale is 2,800 inches in real life. Okay, so 1 relates to 2,800. So 1 is the scale, or 1 is the drawing, really. and 2800 is in real life. I want to know how tall the Eiffel Tower is. So if I look at this Eiffel Tower here, on the map it looks to be about four and a half inches. Okay, so that's going to go in the numerator. It's four and a half inches in the drawing. I want to know how tall it is in real life. Now I just do the cross products property. X multiplied by one is just X, and then 2800 multiplied by 4.5 is 12,600 inches. So the Eiffel Tower is about 12,600 in inches. If I divide that by 12, that tells me that the Eiffel Tower is about 1,050 feet. Okay, so with scale drawings, you're going to be setting up a proportion and solving it. So let's look at example number three. It says, you build a 3D scale model of the Reunion Tower in Dallas, Texas. The actual building is 560 feet tall. Your model is 10 inches tall. The diameter of the dome on your scale model is about 2.1 inches. I would like you to pause the video and try this one on your own, please. Come back when you are finished. Okay, let's see how we did. Now we're told the actual building is 560 feet, the model is 10 inches. So the scale would be 10 inches on the model corresponds to 250, or corresponds to 560 feet. If I divide both by 10, that tells me one inch on the model represents 56 feet on the actual tower. 
Then it says, what is the diameter of the actual dome? So if you got A wrong, you probably got B wrong. But in B, you're going to need to set up a proportion. I know that one inch goes with 56 feet in real life. Then it says the diameter of the dome on your scale is 2.1 inches, or your scale model. So that 2.1 inches is going to go here, and I'm looking for the diameter of the actual dome in real life. From here, you should have used the cross products property. So I get x equals, and then I have to do 56 multiplied by 2.1 and I get 117.6 feet. So the actual dome is about 117.6 feet. Now one thing to mention, um, your scale does not have to have the same units as long as you are cognizant of the units. So I did inches to feet, that's okay as long as I show that I'm using inches and feet. Um, a lot of times with keys or scales on maps, they're going to be in different units. Okay, so hopefully you got that problem right. Let's now look at example number four. It says the perimeter of a rectangle is 132 inches. The ratio of the width to the length is 5 to 6. Find the length of the rectangle. Now, this is a review of last section, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's draw ourselves a picture. It says that we have this rectangle that has a perimeter of 132. Next, we're told that the ratio of the width to the length is 5 to 6. Now, that does not mean that the width and the length are 5 and 6. If they were 5 and 6, we wouldn't have a perimeter of 132. Instead, it means that we had some ratio, 5x to 6x, and we divided out that common number x. So let's call our sides 5x and 6x. So this is going to be 6x and this is going to be 5x. Now remember that to find perimeter, we add up all the sides. So I have 6x plus 6x plus 5x plus 5x equals 132. So this ends up being 22x equals 132. So x equals 6. Now the question does not ask us to find x. It asks us to find the length of the rectangle. Okay, so the width to the length is 5 to 6, which means the length is 6x. So then we are going to say that the length is 36 inches. 6 multiplied by my x of 6. So that should be a review of what we did yesterday. Flip the page, please. Here is a similar problem, example number 5. Right now, I would like you to pause the video and do this one on your own, please. Good luck. Okay, so the area of a rectangle is 4,320 square inches. The ratio of the width to the length is 5 to 6. Find the length of the rectangle. If you solve this correctly, you should have gotten x equals 12, and then you should have gotten your length to be 72 inches. If you didn't, then you did something wrong. You could have messed up that this is an area, so you might have used this incorrectly. This problem is similar to example 4, but not exactly the same. If you did not get the correct answer, pause the video right now and go back and fix your answer, please. If you got it right, move on. So here are two objectives for today, and here is your objective problem. It says copy and complete the statement. This is something that we did not do in the video, but you should be able to figure out. So we have this proportion right here, and we're writing a new proportion. Okay, so you need to figure out where the 10 and the 5 came from and fill in this second ratio. I will be checking this and example 5 when you come to class tomorrow. Good luck.